Hey, this is Matt Titel with an Audio Helm for Unity tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll go over the sampler. The sampler is an instrument that uses pre-recorded audio samples and pitch shifts them so you can create a full spectrum instrument. Um, in this tutorial, we'll go over how to set up a piano sampler. Uh, so let's get started. I have Audio Helm imported new project here and an epicene loaded. And I have five audio samples from a piano that span uh, octaves. Uh, all the uh, five C different C notes. Uh, so I'm going to drag those into our project. Okay, there's a C0 here, which is a low C. There's a C1 here, C2, C3, and C4. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a sampler that will use those five samples to and pitch shift them to play all a full spectrum piano so we can play any note. So I'm going to right click in our hierarchy here, create empty, and call this sampler, piano sampler. And on the uh, inspector, I'm going to add a sampler script to it. It adds an audio source, and down here it adds a sampler. So I'm gonna expand this uh, inspector so we can uh, see a full, uh, fuller sampler uh, window. And if we look at it, we see a graphical piano on top, so that way you can play it to test it out. And below is a key zone section. The key zone section, what it does is it says what key uh, played will map to what samples. Um, so you have a list of samples. We can add more key zones here. Uh, and then to add, uh, and then the ranges that you see here will say what notes map to that sample. So let's set one note up. Uh, let's set up the C0 note. So I'm going to drag C0 over to our audio clip section here. And what happens is it pitch shifts it from the root note that's set right here. And since this is a C, uh, the sample was recorded in C0, the root should be also C0. So that when I play C0, it won't pitch shift it at all. If I play up higher, it'll pitch shift it up. And if I play down lower, it'll pitch shift it down. Now, let's set the range up. The range, since we have uh, five samples recorded at octaves, should probably um, range one octave. So I'm going to range it around our root from a lower G, and I'm going to drag this down to a higher F sharp. Now if I click play, if I play zero, zero, C0, zero, it'll be our C0 note. If I play higher, be higher, pitch shift it up, and continually until I hit G where there's no range, there's no mapping down here for a G, that G higher. So let's set that up with the C1 note. If I add a key zone, it'll automatically take what's there and then shift it up, so it's actually perfect for our C1. So let's just drag our C1 into that audio clip, that new audio clip section, and if I click play, now when I go up here, That's our C1 notes, our C1 sample. Let's add another key zone for C2, and that's already perfectly set up. Another one for C3, and another one for C4. Now, when I play, it'll use all those samples. Um, another thing we want, want to do is actually expand the highest note to all the notes above it, and then the lowest note to all the notes below it, that way we have a full spectrum. Uh, so let's look at the parameters down here. There's uh, num voices. Uh, num voices will allow a certain number of simultaneous samples played. Uh, if you if you're like sam if you're sequencing it and you get some notes that are cutting out, you probably want to increase the num voices. We have velocity tracking, so if we play, uh, it'll respond to the velocity. So if you play. If we have a lower velocity, it'll be a lower volume. If we have a higher velocity, or higher velocity, it'll be a higher, uh, louder volume. And then there's a use note off checkbox here. That's what it sounds like. If uh, it'll respond to note, if it's checked, it'll respond to note off. So uh, let's play. If I just click it, it continues playing. But if it's checked, then it'll turn off when I pull up. Let's keep that checked. And what we'll do is we're going to add, now we're going to add a sequencer to it. So we're going to add a sample sequencer. So we can create a little song. Uh, so let's uh, click play 
and just add a song here. I'm going to do a little chord and then expand that. play very well on my mouse but that's okay um, so that's a, how to set up a basic sampler the last thing I want to do is check out another type of sampler that might be useful uh, that's already actually uh, shipped with audio helm is this some drum kits um, a drum kit it has a bunch of samples in this case 12 uh, that you could play and either each one is mapped to a different note so strab uh, go into the uh, audio helm prefabs folder and just drag one of these drum kits into your scene to take a look. There's already a uh, sequencer assigned to it. And then there's the sampler section. And it looks pretty different from our piano sampler. There's 12 different audio samples. And each one is mapped, has a range of one semitone. So it's only one note that's mapped to that sample. And then the root matches that sample. So none of them are actually pitch shifted. And when we look at it, we play it, we can. It's a C starts at C3. That's a kick. If we go up one semitone, that's the next note. That's a snare. And there's a bunch of samples here. So this is pretty different from our, our piano sampler, but it creates a di totally different type of instrument. And so you can create with the sampler, it expands their sequencer. It expands these pianos, uh, these piano keys. So it's easier to create drum beats. So we can create a four on the floor type thing with snares here and hi-hats here really easily. All right, uh, that's the tutorial. Um, if you have any questions, email, email me at matthewtitel at gmail.com. And uh, thanks for watching.